flash of white light lit up the sky over Gaza tonight. People running for cover, not knowing whether they're dead or alive. They came with their tanks and their planes, with ravaging fiery flames. Nothing remains Just a voice rising up in the smoky haze We will not go down in the night without a fight You can burn up our mosques and our homes and our schools But our spirit will never die We will not go Gaza tonight Women and children alike Murdered and massacred night after night While the so-called leaders of countries afar Debated on who's wrong or right But their powerless words were in vain the bombs fell down like acid rain But through the tears and the blood and the pain You could still hear that voice through the smoky haze We will not go down in the night without a fight You can burn up our mosques and our homes and our schools But our spirit will never die we will not go down in Gaza tonight.
day, this nation will rise up, live up the true meaning of its dream. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slaves will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. One day. Till Ireland is free again 
Now gaunt and pale, my head's blood cell, my heart still burns the flame. In fondest dreams, I drilled, it seems, among your hills again. A guiding light to lead the fight, to free my green surround. The voice of truth for Irish youth to crush the British throne. Farewell, my native green surround. And you, sweet Bernadette My parents and companions brave I'm watching over you yet Of Kappa's breast My childhood days From memories I recall And so adieu To the land I love true A heart just long fall and so, and so, the view, the view, to London, to London, to London. Welcome, O oh Ramadan. You are honored, O oh month of the Quran. It is Ramadan. O oh one who sleeps, stand up and be. The one of Allah, the one of Allah. Oh, one who fasts, stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive. Welcome, O oh Ramadan. You are honored, O oh man. For the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan. Night of Ramadan. Welcome, oh Ramadan. You are honored, oh month of the For the night, most blessed of all nights, most blessed of all nights. Oh, you who believe, take hold of this night and lament to Allah, lament to Allah. Welcome, oh Ramadan, you are honored. O month of the Quran, it is Ramadan. O oh, you who believe at the end of Ramadan, don't weaken your iman. Don't weaken your iman. O oh, you who believe, give thanks to Allah for the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan Welcome, O oh Ramadan You are honored, O oh month of the Quran It is Ramadan uh, Good evening, good afternoon this is uh, Tommy in Glasgow, Glasgow Radio Online, and uh, it's quarter past six on the 14th of July 2014. It's a blessed month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, to all the good Muslim brothers and sisters out there, especially the brothers and sisters in Palestine. And I was just looking for a number to call 
and uh, can't believe there's a hey I wouldn't let me do that why not maybe 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 okay I was just looking now why did not let me do it it used to let me phone Israel before it's not letting me do a free call to Israel now Glasgow Public House in Jerusalem a place called Glasgow Public House you're having a laugh Ben Sirrah Street I just try to phone them there it's not letting me do it that's weird should have my credit all up and gone anyway thanks for joining us quick show here tonight tell 10 to tell 10 a retweet to retweet. I have not fled to Syria or Iraq to join the Islamic Caliphate. No. I'm still here in old Britain, sadly. Right, I'm just looking for that. Right, I've got unlimited world. Why is that not to... Uh, Israel used to be on it before, maybe they've took it off. What is going on here? Unlimited world. Yeah, look. Includes unlimited calls to landlines in Israel. So what number was that then? What is going down? I've got calls to Israel here. I want to phone some Zionist. Not enough Sky Credit. Talking about what's this going on about? It's not letting me phone Israel. I was obviously wanting to phone these people. Obviously, we've got a little problem going on in the Zionist entity. Right, so that was one number. There's another pub here called Dublin. Dublin and Bublin. Right. It definitely says I've got this, uh, let's see. Ah, must be a mobile, it was here. Dublin and Bublin. Hello. Shalom. Is this a, Dub is this a Dublin pub? Hello, is this a pub in in, in uh, Jerusalem? Ken. Ken, is Ken there? Is this Dublin pub? Are you there, Hen? Can you hear me? Right, can you hear me? Anybody out there? Right, tell Ten to tell Ken. Greetings about this rebel, something inside so strong. Sorry, why don't you just tell me? Can you Ken? Can you ken that was me? Right, did you ken? Do you think she kens? It was me. One of my favourite DJs long time ago. Kenny Ken, DJ Kenny Ken. Kenny Ken and the ones and twos, right. Yeah, first of all, I better give him a Schneider of a number. Yeah, so I'll just give him a Wesley Schneider number here. Did you all enjoy the World Cup? Chukter Allah says something and say so strong. Oh. Right, have you told 10 to tell 10? Have you retweeted to retweet? Right, so we definitely have got calls to the illegal Zionist entity. Could you hear her? Could you hear the dafty? Dublin. Ken. Ken, no, it's not. It's Tommy. Are you there, Hen? Yes. You speak English. Yes, I am. You speak Scottish. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. Why? Why is this pub called Dublin in Jerusalem? Why is there a pub called Dublin? Why are we calling it Dublin? Yeah. Because you need to come and see. No, you. I yeah. want you to tell you me. You're from Dublin. You're you're Irish. Yes, I'm Irish. Are you Irish? No. 
What are you? But the place, no, the place is very unique, you know, it's like an Irish pub. Okay, and, and what... Everything what is imported and, you know, uh, all the furniture and... Uh, and when we are opening every day, we are, you know, we are playing uh, uh, Irish music for two hours, you know, every, yeah. every day. So, uh, you know, well, it's a very nice place. Are you Irish yourself or are you, what's your nationality? No, I'm not Irish. What are you? Sorry? Are you, are you an Israeli? Are you, are you from Israel or are you from another country? I'm from here. I'm from Israel. Okay. Well, it's just that uh, I work for the Information Board in Ireland and it's came to my notice that by using the word Dublin, when you're in fact, uh, that is illegal to use the word Dublin for a pub based in Jerusalem, Israel, because it comes to our attention that your country is a war criminal and it's committing war acts. So we would like you to desist from using the name Dublin in your pub. Because we don't think it's appropriate that your pub is allowed to be called Dublin in Jerusalem. Well, the illegal Zionist entity, the country you call Israel, your, your place that you, you claim to have a birthright to, it, it persecutes the poor Palestinians. So we have to get you to change your name from Dublin and we'll just call it War Criminal Pub. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Look. Uh, I'm going to tell you one thing, okay? you going to tell no me one thing? Is, no one in here is is uh, voting for being uh, in a war with anyone. No, it doesn't if matter. You ever, you know, if you're ever going to be in Israel, you're very welcome to see that we are all very nice and we're not supporting any wars and anything, okay? Oh, I understand, but it's just, it's just because I work for a body in Dublin and Bublin and because of the new... <laughs> act that has been brought by the Irish Parliament, that any pubs all across the world have got to be told now that you there's very strict criteria to be able to be called an Irish pub now. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to send out enforcement officers to your pub and we're going to have to revoke your licence for selling alcohol and for calling it an Irish pub. No, I, I know it's nothing to do with you, and you might be all good people, and I understand you, you know, you're playing law, but we, you have to understand the good Irish name cannot be dragged through uh, the international criminal courts when this goes through to The Hague, eventually when your illegal Zionist entity is brought to book, hopefully, God willing. You know, so, but the, the, the case has to be made. We, we would like you to send representatives from your pub to Dublin to a committee meeting in O'Connell Street uh, and you will be placed under court martial and charges against humanity uh, for, for, for misusing the Irish name of, of Dublin. How long has it been called Dublin? Can, can I ask you that? Sir, yeah, just tell me something. You want to give me a phone number and I'm going to give a, I'm going to ask for someone to call you, okay? Because I'm not being charged in here. Oh, sorry. You ask me a question that I have no right to answer, okay? I understand. I, I completely. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry that you feel this way. No, and no, again, no. And again, you are more than welcome to come and see. Okay, we have a lot of people in here and a lot of tourists. We are not criminals. You don't live in Israel, so you don't really know how it is in here. Okay, and I understand. Uh, I understand uh. both sides every time. Okay, and you should think about it too. Okay, in everything there is two sides. In everything, in in you know. You don't live in here. So uh, yes. Don't judge us. Don't have you have you ever been? Don't, you know, have you ever been to the West Bank? Please just let me say one sentence. I, I listen to you, okay? Have you been to Janine in the West Bank? I live in Janine in the West Bank. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know. You've been in Israel? No, I I, I live been in. in here, so please. No, please the land is called Palestine. The land is called we Palestine. Have another, we have look every time that you're thinking something about Israel, just think that always there is two sides. Like we are thinking, okay? We know that, everyone knows that. So please, always think about it. Do you ever read the Talmud? I'm very offensive that you are do you, do you... saying this stuff because it's really hard for me to hear it because I live in here since I was born. 
Okay. Do you ever read the Talmud? Have, have you ever heard a book have, called the Talmud? We have also our side, okay? Yes, you know the Talmud? Sure, I'm, I'm really, I respect you and your opinion, but always think about the other side also. Yes, do don't you ever read a book called the Talmud? Because you the don't Torah? live here. The Torah? You, the Torah and the Talmud? You've heard of these two books? I, I don't hear you, I'm sorry. The Torah and the Talmud? Sorry? The Torah, the Talmud, the, the, the Israeli, the, 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 the Jewish scripture books, have you read them at all? The Talmud? I don't hear you, I'm sorry, I don't hear you good enough to answer, what? The Talmud? S sir, I'm going to take your phone number if you want to, and I'm going to give someone to talk to you if you want to. Who is the, who is the, the name of the owner of the, the Dublin pub? Can you tell me please? I'm going to give him your uh, phone and he's going to call you, okay? No, can you give me the name of the person whose pub it is? I'm not going to give you anything. I can take your phone, okay? You're not going to give me anything. I can ask for someone to call you. So what is the name of the manager? Okay. Sir? What is the name of the manager? What is your name? My name is Tommy Gold. What is your name? Again? Tommy Gold. Can you spell it for me? T O M M Y. Yes. G O L D. L D. And your phone number is? Well, I don't have a phone number. I I I just make calls because you see what what I'm doing. I'm phoning from Janine in the West Bank, and we're bouncing all over the satellites all over the world. So I'm pinging this call through Glasgow, Dublin, and Bublin in Moscow. You want to give me your phone number? No, I've got your number. What is the name of the owner? So okay, the king. thank you, sir. Goodbye. Chucky Allah. Right. Dublin and bubbling. How's the sound quality there? Am I loud enough? Is it too loud? How does it go in? Something inside so strong? Will we try and order a taxi? Right. So that was Dublin pub. We're going to have to send some enforcement officers out. Right, we're back here. There's a pub called O'Connell. Shocking speed. actually reading here the Dublin Irish pub right there located in the city centre heavy wooden like an Irish pub a dark and gothic style of furniture specially thrown in from Ireland the atmosphere the atmosphere others to the atmosphere <laughs> indeed indeed right Go home as I and the scumbags go on home. Have you not got... That's a mobile number, so you're right. So we can phone the illegal Zionist entity, but as long as it is a landline. Right, so the sound quality, Simi, Arthur Rusk, Claire Campbell, sounds good. Simi, sounds good, thank you. I just tweaked it a little bit there, the sound on the, the speaker, so the last call that I did to the old Dimran Army, the sound quality was not that good, so isn't it? Tell me how good or how bad it is right away whilst on the call and then I can adjust it. Right, so now that we've got a number that works, what we have to do is a wee bit of jiggery pokery. We we'll just change some of the numbers, right? So let's see, we'll take out the 1-2 and we'll put on a 5-2, how's that? We'll see what that's going like. Yes, here we go. Right, we're all over this, Jerusalem. Proper name, I'll Hello? Hello? Ken, yeah. Ken, no, it's no Ken, it's Tommy. Shalom, how you doing? Do you speak English? 
Is this Scottish? No. Sorry. Is is Tommy Gold? Tommy Gold, English? Scottish? No. No. Would you like double glazing? Hmm. Would you like some double glazing? No, maybe not. Who are you voting for in the Scottish election? Right. Is an early evening sales call. Right, obviously the language barrier is going to be a bit of a problem at times. Right, but we'll get there. Hello? Hello? Yeah, and then I mean these are obviously I'm just um I'm just an amateur satirist just phoning up and uh, having a bit of discourse with some nice friendly Zionists or not at the end of a gun, but do you actually see the news earlier on showing you them know, making a phone call saying this is the IDF, how are you? We're just about to blow the house next door, tell everybody to get out in five minutes. <sighs> shocking, shocking us. Right. God bless the good people in Gaza tonight. And then look how the the, the managed to even. I mean, the thing that really upped the illegal Zionist entity leadership wasn't the death of the three Israelis who Hamas claims not to have been anywhere near. The thing that really upped him was the, the unity announcement between Fatah and Hamas. And in 2006, with the elections, when Hamas were the democratically elected, uh, well, party that won the elections there, it was divided, and it's, if you go now, there's two divisions in Palestine. They've even managed to cause a division between the, the poor Palestinians, where you've got the West Bank, which is quite prosperous now, where it's got Ramallah and, and Janine, where my good friend worked in the Arab American University for some time, up to 2006, actually. And, you know, now because they have had the fatter in control and, they, and, and Gaza has been targeted because Hamas uh, were voted in primarily in, in the Gaza Strip, so you've got a place of about 1.6 million or 1.8 million people, a refugee camp in the corner of the land that used to be theirs, and the numbers that I'm phoning just now in Jerusalem, Al-Quds, the centre, the main place of worship for the three main monotheist religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, and the group of people who have overall control are not Muslims, not Christians, are not Jews. They're secularist, secular. Zionism is a secular experiment by Chaim Wisefield, by Theodore Herzl. The treachery of the British and the French and what they did over a hundred years ago. The Balfour Declaration, the sykes picot Agreement, drawn the line in the sand, the conquering divide, instead of having to deal with over 200 million Arabs, what Britain called the Arab facade, where they found these puppet leaders subservient to their interest. They realised the way of control of the British Empire was no longer possible, and they had to develop a new way of control, because the Irish and the Indians were in total revolt. And so this new way of control was finding these corrupt leaders, despots, and the remnants are there, the Saud family in Saud, Saudi Arabia. And Israel is a gendarme, the right arm, in the Middle East, bringing instability to what they, they would call the recalcitrant Arabs, and the poor Palestinians suffer an interminable pain forever and ever. Well, the world just sits on by. Stop phoning Dalmarnock. I've never phoned Dalmarnock in my life. Never.
Right? Dublin and bubbling. That's a real sad situation, yeah. Yeah, we're going to try and phone that O'Connell back again. Well, where was that? What were we doing? There we go. Hold on. Right, get back to these numbers. 52, that, that, that number there just changed again, but let's see. So let's go for 55, right? Just change the last two digits and we'll carry on phoning the illegal Zionist entity. And the World Cup finished yesterday. Argentina defeated by the mighty Alemania. Bonjour, vous êtes sur un répondeur simple. Oui. Vous ne pouvez pas laisser de message. Veuillez rappeler ultérieurement. Merci. Cherche bonjour. Donc, il est français. Mais, hold on. Right. Jungle boy, how are you doing? Right, this is just a quick show to say hi, how you all doing out there? Ramadan Mubarak. Everything's tickety-boo down my end here. Sorry for taking a wee extended break again. And uh, so I'll be back in another month and a half, two months probably, three months. I'll check back in then. <laughs> well, if I commit to that, then at least I kind of get any trouble for saying that I didn't come back when I said I would. Right, yeah, sorry for uh, disappearing again. I'm just watching Al Jazeera. I've gave up on RT, I used to be watching RT, but since they have took the stance of supporting the Zionists in some way with their reporting, I'm now on the old thing with Al Jazeera and press TV on the old uh, computer. Right, what time is it now? So it's 20 to 7, 20 to 7. Celtic have a game tomorrow, I do believe, over in Iceland. What time's the game tomorrow? Outrageous, you scamp. You scamp, I'll scamp you. Is that you, your parrot? Call me a scamp. Right? You can't call me Cal the Caliph anymore. No more Caliph for me, mate. You can't be called the Caliph when there's a, the Islamic Caliphate that's been established. Start calling me the Caliph, will be wanted on both sides, you know what I mean? The ones who are setting up the Caliphate will be saying, who's this crackpot claiming to be Caliph, you know what I mean? Oof. There'll be a fatwa on your head as well, you crackpot. Right, so we need to, we need to calm down in the, the, the caliph stuff. And then if we, if we don't get done on the fatwa side, then I'm sure MI56 will be saying, what's this crackpot calling himself caliph over there? Am I in hiding? Am I just waiting for it to take over completely? No chance. I ain't no ISIS, ISIL, ISIL, whatever. I'm just a little man, Lido and Asda, all the way. A S D A L I D L, Iceland, all the way. I've never shopped at ISO or ISIS. Shockest state of affairs, isn't it? I mean, you couldn't make the shit up. 
Sorry for the language, especially this blessed month. And that's why I'm keeping a low profile more than anything. My Tourette's just kicks in at any time and I have to be careful. But uh, look what they've done. Ten years ago, they go in and they fight a war of insurgents funding Blackwater, their own military private junta, mercenaries, who were getting paid over a thousand pounds a day, fighting against the insurgents. They leave the country and then their good friends in Saudi and Qatar and such places then fund the same people who they were fighting against in Iraq, but fund the same people, and I do mean the same people. <laughs> this is a crazy shit about it. They fund the same people who they were fighting, first of all in Benghazi and Libya, secondly in Syria. They fund them in Syria and then when they suddenly say, OK, you might have gave up your fight against Assad, but we'll take a fight into Iraq. And then suddenly they become our enemy again. Our American's enemy, our Britain's enemy, and public enemy number one. But while they were in Syria, it was here, have as much weaponry as you want and fight and, and take over this tyrant that we don't like. But then when they walk into Iraq and start causing it and say, oh, look, we're just taking over both places and we're calling it the Islamic Caliphate of, I was going to say crackpots, but I've got my own Islamic Fenian Caliphate of crackpots here. Right, so their mad crackpot, their mad Caliphate over there that they've established, bought, funded and paid initially by the good old US of A military junta, and then the military junta who left the Iraqi Arab facade in place, they left all the military hardware into their place, they left all the military hardware in their place, left it in there for them to uh, have an ice cream. So they left all their military hardware into Iraq for the people to use, to, to have, for the, well, the Iraqis, and then what happens? I mean, billions, this is not just millions, but probably billions of, of military hardware now falls into the hands of what they call was it, Al Qaeda, or the new Al Qaeda, the new improved, the even worse, basically, what did they say? It makes Al Qaeda look like a kindergarten party, this ISIS or ISIL or the new Islamic Caliphate. Oh, it's absolutely criminal. Meanwhile, in Israel, in the illegal Zionist entity, what is happening? In the illegal Zionist entity, the continued killing of an innocent people, and it's continued for the last hundred years in Palestine, continues unabated never stopped. It's terrible really how it's terrible really how in South Africa is the sound quality went there by the way. What's happening with the sounds alright? That's what you're talking about, special branch. Is a good turn that? What's that? Yeah. I can't, I don't want it. Oh shit, what's that? No, I don't want it. Right, hold on, I need to scroll right. Stop phone by my arm, outrageous, you know, outrageous Alibaba. Hold on, I'm in the right page, it keeps jumping. I need to go to another one. You, you answer in response to that. 
Sounds fine, right, okay. Sounds fine. Right, let's go and chase to remember. We need to speak to a Zionist. We want to speak to a Zionist puppet. Six and out, so I'm going to open up that other bit, mother. We do that, right? See, I'm just doing a short show tonight, so I'll not be on too long, probably another 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm just going to get something here, so I'll play this tune and stay here for two minutes. jam on it too. Right, I'll just, uh, so last time I made calls over this neck of the woods, I was using my wee netbook, so I'm just back in my netbook. But meanwhile, we're going to phone Nazareth, the streets of Nazareth. Street, Moscovia building, Nazareth. The local John Dam. Come on. Right, we 
phone in Nazareth here. Where's it Nazareth? We want to speak to Jesus of Nazareth. If he's in, if there's anybody called Jesus in Nazareth, I'd like to speak to him. You want to talk to Hello? Ken. Ken, how you doing? Is this uh, uh, is this police station in Nazareth? Ma yes? Is this the police station in Nazareth? Rega, rega, haku, rega, haku. You speak English? Hello, you, hello, you speak English? Hello? Who's it? Is Tommy Gold? Who's that? Hello. Hello, it's Tommy Gold here. Is this the police station in Nazareth? You speak English? Oh. Hello? Hello? Me? Hello, yeah, it's Tommy Gold. Do you speak English? No. Okay, no, it's Hebrew. You speak Scottish? Hebrew, Hebrew. Scottish? Hebrew. Who? Hebrew. Who's he? Hebrew. Hey, look, do, do. I'm not your bro. If you're from that land, you ain't my bro. Okay, I'm, I'm, pho I'm phoning to complain. Can you take your Zionist Israeli offensive forces and tell them to stop doing the bombing, please? Stop, but desist. You understand? Hey, bro. Hello? Hey, bro. Hey, bro, Ken. No, Ken. I don't. You know my bro. What are you speaking? Uh, 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 what Irish. language? It's Irish. You speak Irish? Irish, no. I mean, we are the Irish. Scottish? English, English. English, you know? You speak English? Little, little. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, listen, what, what I wanted to say was, what has gone down? Can you tell the Israeli offensive force to stop sending bombs to the Palestinians, please? Where, where are you living? I'm phoning from the Gaza Strip. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Uh, where are you now? In Gaza. I just want to. My next door neighbour got a bomb, and we just want you to stop sending the bombs, please. You you speak with uh, with Nazareth. You you Nazareth is Jesus Nazareth, there? Nazareth, Ken. It's no Jesus. I don't want to speak to Ken. If I'm phoning Nazareth, I want to speak to Jesus. I don't speak. I don't. I don't uh, understand you. You speak Aramaic. Assalamu alaikum, brother. But you, but you speak Arabic? Yes, I Arabic. No, 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 no. Irish, Irish. <laughs> hey, bro. Speak Arabic, and you speak Arabic? No, Aramaic, Aramaic, the language of Jesus. No, 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 The language, the language of Jesus says, please stop bombing the poor Palestinians. You know, Jesus was a Jewish Palestinian. Jesus? Jesus? Yeah, Jesus of Nazareth says, stop bombing Jesus the Palestinians. Jesus from Nazareth. I am uh, from Nazareth. You're from Nazareth? Well, why are you bombing the poor Palestinians? I don't speak uh, English. Yalla, bye. You do speak English? Why not? Uh, a bit of a communication error there. But that, that was a Nazareth polis. That was a Nazareth, the Negev sub-district. Right, we got in the Negev sub-district. Right. And we try to get a Jesus in Nazareth, but obviously we're in the hand. But before, though, before we do that, we've got, we've got to get, try to get somebody else in Nazareth here. Hold on. Just because we don't get a Jesus in that Nazareth town, that, that Nazareth polar station, we'll try another one. We'll go for the 8A to the end. If I've not got a Jesus of Nazareth, we'll just take a Moses. If we get a Moses. To be honest, we'll take anybody in Nazareth if it's not a polis. As long as it's not a Hawaii 5 0, we'll do well. These are invalid numbers, I'm just... Right, peeing in the wind, right. Rahat, Oz. Oh, look at this, a place in Jerusalem, Oz. It's called the Northern District, is it? Oh, there's Muscovia Building. Oh, look, the Muscovia Building, that's the same number. 
He's for some reason I say, no way, I don't know, can it be? Oh, he saw the fours, didn't it? Four, four, four. Is that the emergency service number? The road 91, Moscovia building, Nazareth, Northern District. Sharon, Sharon, where have we gone here? Hold on, Sharon. Sharon, Subdistrict. Right, we're we'll, we'll going to ask to speak to Ariel, right? We'll ask for Ariel, and if we've not got it, we'll just say, no, we want some person. Right. מתן מרחב, שרון שלום, למוקד פניות נהגים ארצי, נא לחייג כוכבי 9666 מכל טלפון, לתחנת כפר סבא, נא להקיש 1, למדור בוחנים, נא להקיש 3, למטה המרחב. שלום, הגעתם למשטרת ישראל, מטה מחוז תל אביב ומרחב יפתח. לרשותכם מערכת לניתוב שיחות. למשטרת מרחב יפתח, הקש 1. לאגף התנועה, הקש 2. ליחידת ההוצאה לפועל, הקש 3. למפלג הונאה, הקש 4. Hashin, a Russian compound, Jerusalem. Shalom. Hello, Shalom. How are you doing? Hello. Yes, this is Tommy Gold. Uh, who am I speaking to? You speak English? Yes. You speak Irish or Scottish? No. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I just wanted to, is, is it yourself, is this the police force in Jerusalem, yeah? What? Is this the police I'm phoning in, in uh, Israel? I don't understand. Am I phoning the police? or I was looking to phone the Israeli Defense Force. What do you need? My, ne my, need, uh, my need is to bring uh, the bombing to stop in Palestine. That's my need. I need to speak to Benjamin Netanyahu, if possible. But I'll speak to one of his subordinates, if there's anybody there. You want to speak with me a minute now? Yes, I, I'm phoning. I'm a, I'm a liaison officer with the Scottish government. And we say yet, we say no. Stop bombing Palestine. You know, you know Alex that Sarant. you... Sorry? This is Tirat Carmel Station. Are you sorry? Hmm? Sorry, what was that, sorry? Hello? Yeah, sorry, what did you say, sorry? I can't help you, sorry. What, what, is this, I, th I was given this number, I thought this was the, the Israeli Defence Force number, no? What? I thought this was the number for the Israeli Defence Force, the IDF? No. Have you got a contact number for them, please? No, I don't have, sorry. Okay. Have, have you got... Sorry? What's your name? Tommy Gold, what's your name? Tommy what? Tommy Gold, what's your name? Tommy Gold? Yes, I'm phoning from... Where, where you live? In Gaza. Be Meaza? Gaza. You know Gaza, the Gaza Strip? Okay. What do you want to tell uh, Benjamin Netanyahu? To stop doing the bombing, please. Okay. I will tell him. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye. He's got ground forces, tell him to come ahead. What? If he's got any ground forces, tell him to come ahead. I don't understand, sorry. Tell him, I'm waiting here and I'm in the Gaza Strip waiting for a square go. Send any boys down. Postal fleet, we'll steal the sannies off their feet. IDF, not a chance. I don't understand, you speak very fast and I don't understand you. Have you heard of Burdowie Street Police Station? What? Burdowie Street Police Station, have you ever heard of that place? Okay, right. All right, I'll leave her there. So just pull the troops out, right? Get to take care. What? I don't understand. I don't know, guys. I, I was, I'm pretty sure that wasn't even the police, you know what I mean? Police? Yeah, there's a local council number. Right. I'll try 
Sairas Lamba. Right. You want to speak to Mr. Netanyahu or Benji Boy? משטרת מטה מרחב לכיש ותחנת אשקלון, שלום ותודה שהתקשרתם. אם ידועה לכם השלוחה המבוקשת, נא להקיש מספרה כעת. לידיעתכם, בכל שלב ניתן לחזור לת... Retweet to retweet the back to the end. Look at this number, 555555. Right. Mr. Israel, Agatha Kirodva, Modi'in, Merchava, Yelon, Uh, just try to get another one contact number here. Oh, there we go. The main switchboard number. Area code or two. Both. 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 Right, so it's two. So we need to put two here and then we battle, I think. Hello? Ken. Ken. Who's Ken? What? What? Do you speak Scottish or Irish? No, no. What are you looking for? Is this the Knesset? Yes, the Knesset is closed. This is uh, the security. Oh, security. How are you doing, brother? Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, well, what it was, have you got a direct number for old Benjamin Netanyahu, please? I'm phoning from the Scottish government, mm. from Alex Salmond. Mm. We no, lost no, his number. No. Call, call to Mao in the morning, okay? Call to. Sorry? Call to. Close, the cross the case is closed now. Call to Mao in the morning. But no, this, this is important. This is very important. This is very, very important business, my friend. What was your name, sorry, brother? I don't know. Call to Mao in the morning, okay? What's your name, sorry? Ellie, Ellie. Ellie? Okay, call to. Ken. Who's Ken? My name's Tommy, no Ken. Okay, call to. Bye. Hey, call tomorrow morning. Knesset. Yeah, a good few numbers there with the Knesset, I'll tell you that. That's quite open, isn't it? With all numbers here with the old Knesset. Ken, is that why they call it Ken? Knesset, Knesset. Guys are under fire. Stephanie Decker of Al Jazeera looking down. So, uh, as you said, it was a relatively quiet day and people were sort of apprehensive about when that, uh, when that operation in the North could start. Many people have left. We can tell you that. They've come here to Gaza City, thousands of them. Uh, so, we're back here almost. Fire in the white phosphorus yeah. stuff to light up the sky. Well, that's, that, one would assume that means that the strikes and that uh, Israeli threat to, to strike North Gaza are about to begin. Meanwhile, first of all, about any uh, direction dear God. Towards arranging Israeli airstrikes target homes in Rafa, Deir, Al Bala, and Shujar. Officials who told us that the real players when it came down to this was the US was Qatar 
and was Turkey now, they've told us that they have demands when it comes to this ceasefire. And I think the main one is uh, what he told us is the lifting of the siege. This includes opening the Afar crossing, this is the crossing into Egypt, which uh, really has been opened only just a couple of times over the last three months. Uh, the opening of the goods uh, crossings, and of course there's a siege here. So there's a limited amount of items that do come in. People will tell you the economy here is the worst it has been in a very long time. There's high unemployment. So what, uh, what this uh, source in Hamas was telling us, said we, we formed this unity government uh, with Qatar, but nothing has changed for us on the ground. We have a, nothing has improved for us. So really this seems to be their message um, from during this current conflict that they want to achieve something. They want something to change on the ground, and they certainly want the, ch the situation to get better. All right, Stephanie, that's about live from Gaza. Live from Gaza, then. Maybe I'll close out and ask my respond on that computer. Right. It's a heavy state of affairs out there, I tell you, heavy. Right. Ashkelon. That was the place where I phoned my phone to Ashkelon, the border cross in Ashkelon. משטרת מטה מרחב לחיש ותחנת אשקלון, שלום ותודה שהתקשרת. Israeli Airports Authority, Israeli Karim Negev Information Center, hold on. Karim Shalom, hold on. I'm sure it was called the Ash Kalaman to the Ash, Ash Kalaman. And then border crossing. Sugar, sugar, sugar paste it, Ash Kalaman. Other class and contact number. Right. Right. Thought I had it on here. Nope. Did have it before, but not anymore. Pull that one down. Right. Women Third Intifada. May have been on there for everything we ask how long is he staying with all this stuff that's happened recently. Right, so, so anything there, there's never going to be anything, whatever it was before. I tried to go on the old network to find what it was previously. Couldn't get it. There's no war, it's murder. Something inside so strong, the Germans should do a tour of the Holy Land with the World Cup and give the Zionists a reality check. <laughs> oh dear. So that's what I'm going to have to do then. I'm going to, I'm going to have to start phoning uh, the Israeli Football Association then, right? Hold on, no, hold on. But where could we take the German football team in Israel, Jerusalem? Where would we take them to? Do you have any German bars in any German bars in Tel Aviv? I just put German bars in Tel Aviv. The Bayern Tel Aviv. Both. Mike's Place Bar Sport. Here we go. Mike's Place Bar Sports. You know, Tel Aviv. Yeah, it's getting on Hebrew and Russian. Uh, many Italians with 
the old Hebrews and the Russians are. I think there's a table about, right, we got a contact number on here, contact. The right, phone in my each place, live, right, Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, kosher, kosher, next to the American Embassy, in Tel Aviv. Yes. Mike, say alert. Hello, yeah, I'm going to speak to Mike. Please. Hello? Is Mike available, please? Who? I'm going to speak to the owner of the bar. The owner is not here right now. Who is this? This is Tommy Gold. I'm phoning as a representative of the German Football Association. Just one minute. I'm going to get my manager to speak to you, okay, sir? Okay. Just hold the line for one minute. Yes, hello, it's Tommy Gold here. Who am I talking to? I, I can barely hear you, sir. Are you speaking to the manager here? Oh, hi. Sorry, manager. My name's Tommy Gold. I'm phoning as a representative of the German Football Association. Okay. Uh, we've got some of our German players who are, once they've flew back, a few of them are wanting to come in. I'm sorry, sir. I, I just, I can't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry, I'm in a noisy bar and there's no other phone. Okay, okay. You're calling from a far distance? You know, can you hear me now? Is that any better? It's really, it's not, sir. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll leave it then. There's no problem. Is this something very pertinent to tonight? No. No, it's so okay. Can you, please, can you please call during the day when somebody will be able to help you? I can't tell. I can't hear you. Is there any jobs going in the bar, my friend? That's what I'm phoning for. Any jobs going? Jobs? Yeah, any jobs. You just have moved. to come in and apply in person for a job. Okay. Bye. Any jobs? He's a job, my man. He had that all right, didn't he? Bit of a sound garden, not a bad shop. <laughs> right, I've got stuff to do. And uh, I better bolt here. Right, but I'll be back very, very, very soon. Inshallah, God willing. We'll be back very soon and uh, things like yeah, quarter past seven. Shoot my hand. Right. Uh, where have we gone here? Right. I'm just going to look for a wee ditty to play it out. But I think there's only one thing I can play. It's been started with. You will not go down Gaza tonight, right? Arriva Berchi. We'll meet again. Don't know when. Don't know where. But I know we'll meet some sunny or rainy day in Jalemba. Speak soon. Hail, hail. God bless the Palestinians tonight, wherever they are. Blinded, Keep safe. Flash of white light, lit up the sky over Gaza tonight. People running for cover, not knowing whether they're dead or alive. They came with their tanks and their planes, with ravaging fiery flames. Nothing remains Just a voice rising up in the smoky haze We will not go down in the night Without a 
Tonight. 